on word immersion. Embark on word immersion. This is the first time I'm using this word and this statement since I've been preaching. And I'm saying that deliberately so that you can know. I heard it, read it from nowhere. I just saw it in scripture. Embark on word immersion. Soak in word. That was what Naaman the Syrian did. He soaked himself inside the river Jordan. Seven times means perfection. Soak until you are full. And then whatever was lost can be restored. Somebody say was word immersion. Somebody say word immersion. I was talking to somebody today and I asked them to put some message series inside his phone at our eyes. And you can do that also. You can take a series on divine health, a series on longevity, fulfilling your days, the series on supernatural supply, the series on authority, the series on faith, whatever it is. And then, and then it's right in your phone. So that it's not only WhatsApp and um, Facebook and Notebook and iBook that is in the phone. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I said to somebody, I said, while you are sleeping, the word can be playing. Because the spirit of man does not sleep. When we get to eternity, there is nothing like sleep. The word is saturated. Now, there is something they call language immersion. I heard of it during the Second World War, thereabout. When the soldiers in America were to be taken to some parts of the world, maybe Spanish or something, or some Spanish-speaking areas, they, they say they would do them what they call language immersion for about six to seven weeks. That is, that language is playing everywhere, inside the car, inside the house, everywhere. Anywhere they step is the same language they are hearing. Anywhere, it's under seven or more weeks, they are speaking it fluently. Immersion, immersion. I'm sure probably there is the interpretation of it all. They said this and this is the meaning, this and that. But they just keep on hearing it every day, everywhere, every day, everywhere, every day, everywhere. They are sleeping, it is plain. Before you know it, they are out. Soaked in that language. And that language took them over. And they begin to manifest and that in that realm effortlessly. That is how the word is. You soak in the word. Replace aimless music with word. Except it was worship. Except it was inspirational. Replace aimless movies with word. Like Neman the Syrian soaked himself. And when you step out, every devil who does not know will know. Everything missing in your body comes back on his own. Every, 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 every devil position in your life that is not meant to be there just takes off on his own. You are immersed, soaked. If I get, we don't have the practice of putting water in the, in the church here, on the altar here. If I get a bottle of water, I get a, a, a bottle of swan water. And I fill it with water. What has happened? The bottle is holding the water. I want you to picture it. Now picture that I have a basin of water, a bucket of water. And I now put this full bottle inside that water. So the bottle is holding the water and the water is holding the bottle. That is, he, you are possessed with the word, the word possesses you. That is, you came to the point where you, you are just, you are, he, 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 the word is in you, it's on you, it's out of you. It's like an exudate flowing out of you. So you come to the point where if the devil touch you, what you carry comes out to answer him. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Whatever comes to put your life under pressure will get the response of what you carry. Stand up on your feet. If you, listen, if you read 40 chapters of the Bible every day, in 30 days, you have gone through Genesis to Revelation. Only 30 days. And you don't need to listen to it in a stretch. You can take 10 chapters in the morning, or 12, 13, just in the morning. And then go through another um, 12, 13 chapters sometime in the afternoon. 
and then go through another 12, 13 chapters. And you can read 40 chapters under three hours. That is, reading, that is listening to it. Listening and reading along. Under three hours. I'm talking from experience. At the most, no matter how slow you are as a reader. Can you imagine saturating yourself 40 chapters a day in one month and you just load yourself? Even if you didn't slow down to understand the meaning of some things, you just bathed. <laughs> you just use one month to bath. Am I communicating at all? 20 chapters is six times in a month. Six times in a year. That is, that is just reading. But, but then you then pause along the line. Now, this can be an intensive once a year exercise. Just once a year, maybe. Just intensive. Let me find time to see how I can do this. Just once in a year to just go through this. Once in a year, just intensive. Beyond the study. I'm talking of word immersion. This gives you general scriptural knowledge where you are looking for one scripture, it just flies out of your spirit because you, 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 it, you came across it some time ago. You may not know where it is now, but you can check it and check it out. And the computer systems have made things very easy today where you can type two words out of the author and then it just takes you to where the, the, the passage is. Am I communicating? Word immersion. Lift your hands and say, Father, I receive the grace to embark upon an immersion of the word. Word baptism. I receive that grace tonight in Jesus' name.